this is going to be a review of the Panasonic Ionity model EH5305P. Now, it's made by Panasonic. You cannot get this in the United States. This was shipped to me from an online purchase directly from Japan. And the reason I purchased this is the claim is that this is one of the quietest hair dryers on the market and it is not available in the US. So it says 52 dB. What is 52 dB? Well, we're going to check that out in a minute, but 52 dB is extremely quiet. 1200 watts. Um, so let me give you some details before I do the review. The reason I bought this, you can see outside that little rescue dog that I have over there. She's looking now because she hears me talking. She's trying to tear up her bed. And I bought it because I am giving her baths about once a week. And your standard hair dryer is not 1200 watts. It's 1875 in the US. And it has a setting normally for low and high. And when it's on high, it's extremely loud and very, very irritating, very noisy. And on low, it cuts the power down from, I think, uh, 1875 watts down to about 900 watts, something like that. But it's much quieter. So I bought it because she doesn't seem to mind the loud hair dryer on the low setting. On the high, she doesn't seem to mind it either, but most dogs don't like that. A small hand hair dryer is a lot easier to use than uh, a, a pet hair dryer. It's just more convenient. It doesn't have as much force, but it's more convenient. So I bought this because I want to have a hair dryer that's going to be quieter on the dog's ears. And also, if it, it really is quiet, then I'll use it myself because, let's face it, when you damage your hearing, you never get back what you damaged. So, 52 dB means a lot to me. Let's test it out now and see what's going on. If my videos help you out, please do a thumbs up, a subscribe, or a like. If you have a product you want me to review, if I can get a hold of it, I will do that. If you want to link this to any website, that would help me out a lot. And if you want to leave a donation to my channel, please ask for my PayPal info. I took the dryer out of the box. The instructions are all in Japanese, so there is no other language, it appears, but Japanese. So you're not going to be able to use the instructions if you're in the U.S. It does run on 120 volts. Nicely packaged. <coughs> and it's very sleek. Look at this. Okay, so it's got a, a folding handle. Maybe that's for hanging it on the wall. I don't know. Um, has cold set. I don't know what the set is. Probably just the regular low temperature and then turbo high temperature. Double ion. Everybody's got these ion things. I don't know if that is automatic. It's a screen at the back. So I'm going to plug this thing in now and we'll test out the sound. To do a good comparison, I'm going to be using this sound meter, this dB meter, which really doesn't help a lot, but it will give you some idea. Speaking right now, my voice is going 43 to 50 something. I'm not going to talk now. It's kind of noisy here at about 20 dB or so. so again, we're at about 24 to 30 something. I'm going to put it on low. 72. The dog is all excited because she loves the hair dryer. I'm going to put it on the high speed now. So the high speed is about 72. Low speed is not much better. It's about 70 or 72. Now the important thing to remember is that was about 900 watts, I believe, maybe 1200 watts, and then 1875. This is 1200 watts max. I don't know what the lower wattage is, but um, a vacuum cleaner, as you see, is equivalent to what that hair dryer was, and you've got that right by your ears. Not a good thing. So let's try this new unit out on. Is cool the same as set? Okay. So I've got it on set. Let me turn this off for a minute. 22. 22 to 30. I'm going to put it on low. 
it's very quiet. It's the same sound you would have if you were baking a cake and using a mixer. It's really quiet, very quiet. I'm gonna put that on set, set now, which is a low heat. And honestly, this low heat is absolutely perfect for me. Ow, that's, that's hot. Um, that's low heat at 67. You know, it might not be that much of a difference, but 67 to 74, big difference in sound over here. And I'm going to put it on high. Extremely quiet. So the difference was 67, and the other one was about 74. But I'm talking while I have it running now, so you can get an idea of the difference in sound. It barely, uh, you can, I can talk over it and it doesn't really bother me. Now I'm going to move it up to my hair. Oh, that feels so good. It's warm. It's very comfortable. It's really nice. The dog's looking at me and I want to test it out on the dog now because that's why I bought it. So here we go again. She's sniffing at it. I've got, I have it on, on high. It's a little bit, it's high. It'd be perfect if she just got out of the bathtub. Look at this. Look at this. How many times have you seen somebody get a dog and put a hair dryer on and they're not frightened of it? Um, she's really comfortable with it. I could not be happier. So uh, I don't even know what this thing cost. I can't remember. But the reason I bought it was strictly because of the sound. And she loves it. I cannot wait to use this when I give her a bath. She loves it. Totally loves it. So. You know, I know there's other hair dryers out there that have a massive amount of power that will blow the water out of the fur. And this will definitely not blow the water out of the fur, but it will give you a very happy dog. So that's going to be my review of the Panasonic EH5305P Ionity hair dryer. A very good, it's a great product. I'm thrilled with this thing. Um, mostly because I just do not want to damage my hearing. And since I'm bathing the dog every week now, I don't want to damage her hearing. People, the dog is loving this. Look at this. You can barely hear the thing. She just got out of the bath. She's running around all excited. Loving her new hair dryer. This thing's quiet. Look, she's, she, she doesn't even, I can blow it into her face and she's comfortable. It's not, not bad for the eyes or the ears. So that's my review. This is really one of the best hair dryers you can use on a dog. That it doesn't have a massive amount of blowing power to blow the water out of the fur. But it will dry them and it won't scare them. And it works. Oh, 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 she loves it. Look at her. It's so quiet, it's like the volume of a fan, so it's absolutely perfect. Just enough airflow to dry the hair and just the perfect amount of heat that it's not going to be too strong on the dog's skin. She's always really good with a hair dryer. She doesn't mind it at all, but she's tolerating this a lot better because it's quieter and it's making it my job easier. I'm more relaxed. I don't have that loud hair dryer blowing and so I'm not as stressed out and she's not as stressed out. So uh, I couldn't be happier with this thing. I don't notice that it's taking any longer. Her Most of her fur is dry and her skin is dry within about three or four minutes. So this just makes it easier to uh, to get my job done and she's more relaxed and I'm, I'm very happy with the product. I'm happy with the price. I'm glad I bought it and I totally recommend something like this. If you have a small dog and uh, they're stressed out with the hair dryer, this is really the way to go.